Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to check out two attacks using Hog Riders against 100% maxed out Town Hall 10s. So the first attack is going to be against a, the number one of getting dark and for those two attacks I actually visited Thailand Pro and they have some really good attackers and they were able to get two three stars using Hog Riders. And First of all, I wanted to say that Hawk Riders aren't used too much, I would say, because it's really hard to 3-star with them. Um, back then, I think about a year ago, everyone was using Hawk Riders because it was just so easy to get 3-stars with them, but then they were nerfed and I think the giant bombs were made so they do double damage on the Hawk Riders. And that was basically when everyone stopped using Hawk Riders. And instead of getting an easy 3-star, it was very complicated to get 3-star attacks, so everyone switched to Balloons and Minions and Lava Hound attack strategies. But lately, there's a couple of people that actually are able to use Hawk Riders as a Tunnel 10, even though they are Inferno Towers and even though there are those giant bombs which could harm them but this guy did manage to get a three star so let's check out his attack so in the beginning he used a a couple of giants and his queen to take out the whole top right of the base and basically what he did is he just distracted the defenses enough with his giants to let his archer queen basically just destroy the whole entire top right of the base and then his archer queen got um, into the base with a couple of wall breakers and then he used his giants and his golems to get into the core he used a lightning spell and now he's sending all of his hawk riders in through the bottom of the base so there's the spring trap and with those anti three star bases they have very smartly placed um, spring traps and giant bombs too and they don't use double giant bombs which could definitely stop the hawk riders for a three star but at the same time, if you have your giants too close together, um, you could face that people would just drop a couple of giants or golems and they would just destroy those two giant bombs and then there's no giant bombs left in the base. So they, they are trying to space them out as well as possible. So at this point, there's all the defenses down and the attacker is just trying to clean up the rest of the base so yeah as i said if you have double giant bombs it's definitely a pretty safe way to destroy hog riders but if the attacker is smart and he sees those two by four spaces he is going to be able to destroy those double giant bombs and so um, spacing out your gi giant bombs is probably the better option well let's look at the second attack this attack is going to be against the number two of the same clan and he's doing the same thing. So he started off with the minions at the top of the base and he's basically just trying to snipe off some of the buildings that are not covered from defenses and he is definitely able to do that. Now he's dropped two of his giants. His queen is being attacked by two archer towers and is facing a wall now so I'm pretty curious to see how he's gonna manage that. So his queen went into the other way and he's probably gonna take out that archer tower. And so his queen doesn't get taken out by that archer tower. Now he's dropped a jump spell. And what that, uh, that allows him to do is just get all of his troops into the core. So now he's dropped a lightning spell. And it's definitely very crucial to bring a lightning spell. Because those witches and the clan castle could definitely screw up your attack. So he's dropped all of his giants at the bottom. And they should go into the core right now. They, dist they took out some of the spring taps. And now they're going into and triggering another giant bomb. So it looks like he does have one healing spell left. So he's going to drop that right now. And then he should be able to get that three star. So I think um, what you try to do with those three star attacks. I personally probably couldn't do it. But you have to take out two of the Inferno Towers with your heroes. And that is definitely hard to do because those Inferno Towers are usually very nicely in the core and spaced out. So it's not as easy to get to both of them. One of them is possible, but both of them is quite hard with just um, 
your your golems and your heroes. So he was able to do that, and now his um, his hawk riders are going around and cleaning up the rest of the buildings. And it looks like this is going to be another three star attack. He doesn't have that many hawk riders left over, but it should be enough to take out the rest of the buildings. So it's just wrapping up. He's at eighty three percent. And it looks like he does have enough troops to clean up the base. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please see the, leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video.